The following video is not intended for viewers under 13. Viewer discretion is advised. So if you're here watching this, you must be a Transformers fan, right? And if you're a Transformers fan, then you're familiar with Soundwave, aren't you? Laser beak, prepare for flight, course heading northeast. That's right, Soundwave. The Decepticon that turned into a tape deck and had the other smaller Decepticons that would come out of him, like Ravage and Laser Beak and stuff like that. You remember him? Okay. Because this isn't about him. This is about those cassettes that were inside of him. Because I got some new ones. That's right, this package arrived this morning. I ordered this months ago. You may have seen a review out there that already features these specific Transformers, but there was a little bit of a snafu with the company that I got these from. They didn't get shipped when I ordered them and I'm a little bit behind, but they're here now and here we go. This is the Soundwave Spy Patrol which includes four, count them, four cassette tapes. There they are. Don't they look gorgeous? So let's see, this particular box contains, we have Wing Thing, Knock, Scar, and Frenzy. Or is it Rumble? Hmm, well, We'll find out. We're gonna take this out. And then here are the destructions. And that's pretty much all that is contained in this box is the four figures, the instruction booklet, and their little legal information card that's still inside there. Let's see, we have all four of them are covered on this one instruction sheet. I mean, these guys, uh, you know, the cassette tapes, the little MicroMasters, they've always been, like the old G1 ones were always very easy to transform. But then in recent years, some of the cassettes have been extremely complicated and they're also small. So you're kind of afraid of breaking them. So, but these ones, they've gone back to a more simplified way of transforming. But before we can get to that, we have to get them out of the plastic. So we're going to bring back out the trusty X-Acto knife and ever so gently slip it sideways under the plastic, turn the blade, and pop. And there we have Knock, okay. which Knock doesn't go with Soundwave, he goes with Double Dealer. But this version of Double Dealer that's coming out doesn't use cassettes or, well, actually the original Double Dealer was Power Master. You know, here we have Wing Thing. So, Knock and Scar, oh, here, let's take a closer look at Scar, or uh, Knock again. Backside there. And here's Scar. So, originally, the G1 Double Dealer figure, he was a Power Master that could turn into both Autobot and Decepticon. Scar was his Decepticon engine, and Knock was his Autobot engine. But Scar and Knock have been remade here as cassettes. And finally, the last one. Now, the controversy with this figure is all of the websites that you will look for this four pack on there that Hasbro has put information out, they have referred to the blue one as Rumble. However, the instructions call him Frenzy. So what is he? Is he Rumble? Or is he frenzy? Hasbro, make a call on this. So as you can see, transforming these guys is extremely simple. Here we have Scar, and he's really just, you have two folds for the wings, 
and then popping his feet out wing thing here is exactly the same fold the tips to his wings down and then raise them up from the sides and then pop his feet down if you want to you can reposition their heads because there is an articulated joint so their heads can move forward and backwards but that's really it for those guys and here we have frumble and he's just turn his legs pull them down rotate them a little bit to the side and then you just pop his hands out and make sure they're straight and then rotate the shoulders down so that his arms are by his side and that's it i mean like i said these guys are cassettes their transformations are meant to be simple and then finally we have knock and he is exactly the same as rumble frenzy rumble just pull the legs down rotate adjust the focus and pop the hand out same on the other side and then rotate those shoulders down and da -da 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 -da. knock all right and there they are there they stand there they are completed aren't they pretty so as i have not mentioned yet these guys are micromasters which is another classification of the transformers figures we have they start off micromaster then deluxe then voyager then leader then commander and then titan and that scale is based on either size of the figure or the amount of accessories it comes with there's some just you know there's a little bit of discussion going on with some people between voyager class and leader class because essentially voyager class figures and leader class figures are about the same size the only thing that makes leader class figures leader class figures is they have more accessories than voyagers but you know but these guys are micromasters they're the smallest now wing thing here incidentally is basically just a redecorated version he's a repaint uh this is from these guys came out for earthrise the previous uh wave was siege and there was a rat bat figure that came out for siege that looks exactly like this except he's not orange so and as you saw before the scar figure is almost exactly like wing thing it's just got a different head but they made him purple and yellow like the scar figure from g1 now frumble here like i said you know the original transformers comic book and toy line frenzy was blue and rumble was red and it was the opposite in the cartoon and most people know rumble is blue because of the cartoon so we thought we were gonna get some clarification here but all the descriptions on the websites refer to this figure as rumble but yet the instructions name him as frenzy so we still don't know is rumble blue or is frenzy blue I, I i don't know there's no clarification here and then of course here we have knock now knock as i mentioned before was a power master engine for double dealer when he was in his autobot mode and i don't have double dealer yet i've got him coming soon but you'll see right here on his back he does have a pop-out peg and there is a spot i've heard on double dealer's chest where a chest plate pegs in so are they trying to tell us that if we want to we can peg knock here into double dealer's chest like the g1 we will see all right and here we go with frumble he does fit just like the other micromaster cassettes inside soundwave's chest 
I also have Laser Beacon Ravage, so he won't be alone should I decide to put Scar and Knock with Double Dealer. And of course, don't forget Wing Thing. Now I've heard some scuttlebutt that Wing Thing did not fit properly in sound, inside Soundwave's chest. But as you can see here, the cassette does fit inside the slide area there and it will close and lock up just fine. And I tested it. It does pop open just fine when you push the eject button. So I don't know where this particular rumor comes from, but just like the rest of the family wing thing works and here they are. And aren't they gorgeous? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time. And knowing is half. Autobots, transform and roll out. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, then please leave me a like and subscribe. And don't forget after subscribing to click on the bell to receive notifications when new content is up. If you feel I missed something or you just have a question, Drop it down below and I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. I really do try to read all of them. And again, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.